Hi, I'm Mike Heidebrink, president of Chang Concrete, here for Concrete Network. This is our outdoor living series made from Chang DFRC. Let's get to work and see how these things are made. All right, what Clay's doing is we're actually starting on the, on the walls, spraying into the corners. And the reason for spraying into the corners like this is, is to make sure that we get wet material back in those corners and not dry sand. There's a little bit of sand that's being kicked up in the spraying process, and we need to make sure that we don't get that sand trapped into those corners. He's spraying this at about an eighth of an inch thick. Um, we're gonna, this first pass is the trickiest. If the material is too wet, uh, it's gonna flow down the wall and not stick. Uh, looks, like, looks like this is actually a pretty good consistency to where he can get about an eighth of an inch on the wall um, and, and without it running. After we finished spraying the face and getting about an eighth of an inch of the casting blend sprayed onto the face of our mold, we take a break and we're actually going to use a chip brush here to brush out the surface. The purpose of this is, is basically to work any air bubbles, small air bubbles that might have been trapped uh, between the concrete material we were spraying and the face of our mold, is to actually work those air bubbles out so that, they're, so that we minimize the appearance of air bubbles on the surface of the concrete when we demold. You'll also notice that I'm going to spend a lot of time working the, the, the front edge of the brush into these corners. And that is to, is to make sure that I have wet, uh, the, the, the wet DFRC casting blend blended well with any sand that might have gotten trapped along that edge. So if I had a corner maybe where there was a lot of loose sand, I want to make sure that I get my wet material mixed with that so that when I demold, it is, you know, it's entirely, um, it, it's all concrete and that there's not loose pits or pinholes uh, or loose pieces of sand trapped in those corners. So I'm going to go ahead, starting in the, in the corners, just lightly, you know, dabbing the corners to make sure that the concrete material is worked into these, to these tight corners. And once I've done that, I'm using, using a pretty good amount of pressure. I mean, you can kind of see, you know, how much pressure I'm using when I'm hitting those corners. But the next step I'm going to do is where I'm actually brushing the surface out. Now, unlike the corners where I was jabbing pretty deep, you know, pretty hard uh, to work that material, when I'm brushing the surface, I'm actually using a pretty light pressure. It's not a lot of pressure, just enough to work the surface kind of level it out and, you know, and press the material to the face of the form. If I press too hard, I'm going to actually kind of tear the material off of my form at this, at this point. So I want to be gentle when I'm brushing the flat surfaces. A little firmer when I'm working it into the corners. Now this, uh, this outside corner here, this is actually a little tricky. I don't want to brush too hard here or I'll pull material away from the corner, making my concrete thin there. So this first coating, or this first coat, I've sprayed in it an eighth of an inch. I want to brush this out. Within the first 10 to 15 minutes of having sprayed it into the form. Okay, uh, I've got this all brushed out. At this point, um, it's still a little on the soft side, so I'm going to walk away from this for about 15, 20 minutes and give this initial coat um, uh, time to set up, to gel, because our next step in the process is we're going to mix up backing blend and apply it to this form up to bring it up to the full one inch thickness that you see here on the edge. So before we can do that though, I need this material, the, the, the casting blend that we sprayed in, I need that 
to have a, a, a thick enough consistency or to be set enough to hold that uh, backing blend in place without slumping down off the wall. The instructional drawings for this Green Bray chair can be found online. I'm Mike Heidebrink with Chang Concrete. Thanks for watching.